Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I dang it, I was gonna check to see what my video was about last time. I think I know. It was my follow-up follicle scan. Anyways, hi, McKenzie here. I make TTC videos here on YouTube, and as I always say, I plan to do more vlogging style, but we have had a lot going on lately. <clears throat> so, um, I'm in my new bathroom. Yes, I am. It's not done yet. Um, we just recently moved and did a lot of like renovations, but easy stuff like painting, light fixtures, trim, that kind of thing. So we've got a lot of it done, which is good because we were we're having a like Christmas friends miss thing on Sunday. Today is Thursday, and we wanted to get most of it done. So like in the bathroom that I'm in right now. Um, it needs, we've got some like cool barn wood style wood stuff to put behind this corner tub, which is right next to me. And then we have to do all the trim in the house. We're painting it white. You can see right now it's brown and the walls are a really light gray. So in the video behind me kind of looks white, but it's really light gray. And then once we paint the trim white, I think, woo, <laughs> uh, I think it'll look really good and make it look a little bit more gray than white. So there's that. Anyways, um, update on everything. I've had some people message me on Instagram, missing me, which is like the sweetest thing in the entire world. Um, there is no better feeling than one, knowing that I'm connecting with other people on the same kind of platform um, and experiences that I'm going through. And two, people are actually interested to watch my videos. Why? I don't know. Um, I can be weird and annoying and there's Stella and there's your butt. Um, but anyways, it's just awesome that people want to listen to me and miss me when I don't post. And so I wanted to say, I'm sorry, uh, we've just had a lot of stuff to do. So that is that I will take you guys for a house tour pretty soon because we're close enough to being done. I just want to wait until the backsplash in the kitchen is done. So... On to my TTC update. So last I told you guys, I had went in for my follow-up follow follicle scan. We didn't use the trigger shot. Um, ended up not being pregnant. And they started me on Provera to induce my cycle, which I have PCOS. Um, very bad symptoms PCOS-wise. A lot of hair loss, bloating really bad, irregular cycles and my body does not ovulate on its own. So I need a lot of help in that scenario. Sorry if I keep looking washed out. Every time I move my face, the light's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so anyways, um, that was my fourth round of Clomid at 150 milligrams. And there for a hot minute, we planned for our next cycle to do something different than Clomid because I was starting to have blurred vision, which is a side effect of Clomid. Not everyone experiences that, but some do. You're in here for two seconds and you're already knocking shit off. Cats. But I love them. I love them. Okay. So uh, that was my fourth round of Clomid. We were going to do something different, but here's where the update comes in. Um, I started Provera and... Lo and behold, I ovulated on day three like I had before on Provera. And there is no connection between a false ovulation and being on Provera. It cannot cause false positives. So um, that happened. So we extended my Provera for 14 more days. So that way I could find out if I'm pregnant or not. And then if I was, we would come up with a plan to like wean me off of Provera because it's a synthetic progesterone and it's not recommended for women who are pregnant <laughs> so um wasn't pregnant went in for HD test wasn't but I will say I don't know if it's PCOS or what it is but I swear I get false positives on first response but only during certain parts of my cycle because I I had a line there's no doubt about it very faint, yes, but I had a line. So I don't know what that's all about. I don't know. Anyways, um, does pregnancy tests pick up progesterone? Because 
If I was on day like freaking 15 of Provera, which is progesterone, would that cause a false positive? I didn't think so, but if you know, let me let me know down below. Um, so wasn't pregnant, started or took, or, sorry, came off my Provera, started my period almost immediately. Um, I will say my the first couple of days of periods following progesterone, she is so cute. Uh, she's like looking at herself in the mirror. Um, what was I saying? Oh, focus, fancy. Cats are very distracting. Um, okay, just give me a second. Okay, my first couple days on my new cycle after taking Provera are hell. So, major bleeding, like going through tampons and pads, like it's my day job, and at night, the worst cramps in the entire world. So, I had to use a heating pad this cycle. That sucked. Then the next couple days weren't too bad, but pretty heavy period, cool, no big deal. Went in on cycle day five for my base follicle scan, which they are requiring me to do now before they give me medication because they want to make sure that one, my body is ready for medication. And then the follow-up follicle scan is to make sure that my body is responding to the medication. So <laughs> go into my follicle scan, super expecting to be put on medication starting that day and then using my trigger shot. This was beginning of December. So went in and my uterus lining was at a nine. Day five, like bleeding or just got done bleeding. That was, the that was in the morning. It was the first day that I wasn't bleeding when I woke up. Um, gosh, I'm sorry. That is probably so annoying. Okay. So, uterus line was at a nine, which is thick to begin with for your average person. And I had a daughter cyst again, but this time in my left ovary, not my right. So she was like, what day are you again? Day five. And you had a period? Yes. Was it heavy? Yes. Major clotting. So yes, uh, any normal person would be like, oh, there's my uterus lining and the toilet paper. It's the size of my palm. Like it's, I'm probably okay. So we discussed it a little bit. She's like, I've never really seen this before um, for someone who's had a heavy period and for your uterus lining to be that thick. Um, so she was like, we're going to take a month off, start the new year with a bang. So let your body restart this month, December let it do its thing. If you don't start your period on day cycle day 28, which is coming up, my cycle days lined up with the days of the month, which made it really easy. So that's in two days, no sign of my period. So she's like, when you get to cycle day 28, if you haven't had a period, then let me know. We'll do five days of Provera instead of 10 days of Provera. And then we will start all over again. So she was like, what sucks is your body was really responding to Clomid, the higher dosage of Clomid. So we could go two, two different ways. You could decide to take 200 milligrams of Clomid next cycle, or we could switch you to another medication and not really know if it works yet. And I'm like, I've already got the blurred vision, whatever. If it gets worse, whatever. Put me on 200 milligrams of Clomid. We're getting this thing done in January. So that is the plan. That's what I've been doing. Um, cycle day 26 today. So it's been a couple weeks. Um, I haven't taken ovulation tests. I haven't used my OvuSense. I haven't done anything. And it feels good. To be honest with you, it feels good. Now I do have the distraction of the new house. So that's been perfect timing. Um, I was kind of hoping I was pregnant this month because one, I make great Christmas gifts. And two, like to move into our new first owned home and for me to be pregnant, that would be the best thing ever. But um, it's been a, a good month, been super happy, feeling really good. The break has been like relieving because I haven't worried about testing or holding my pee or anything like that. And it's just been refreshing. And I think Jerry and I both needed it. And it was good timing to do it now too. So you are going on a year or plus, a month plus, it doesn't matter. And you're stressed out about trying to have 
a baby and you're in a spot where you feel comfortable taking a break, please do it because it is so worth it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a person who would ever take break a break for multiple months because I know it's already hard enough for me to get pregnant as it is. I don't want to push off my chance even longer, but every now and then it's worth it. So I recommend that to anyone mentally, physically, everything. It's been really worth it and I've really enjoyed it. So it makes me more excited for this next cycle too, because I know I've given my body a chance to like do whatever it needs to do. So that is where I'm at. And so I guess in two days, I, which is two days, <laughs> uh, Sunday, they're closed. So, um, I will probably get Provera on Monday, start that for five days. She said five days should be good enough for me to clear out whatever is left. Um, so crossing my fingers for that, because I think I'd be pretty devastated if I took it and then went in for my baseline follicle scan and I still hadn't shed my lining. That would just be more annoying than anything else. It's like, okay, come on now. So that's what's up. So next cycle, 200 milligrams, 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 Provera, five days, 200 milligrams of Clomid, cycle eight, three through seven. And we're using our trigger shot this month, next month, next cycle. Really excited for that, which is that weird? I'm excited to like take a shot. Maybe it's not the shot itself. It's just the idea that it's something completely different and it could work and I could have twins. That's pretty exciting. So let's see how it goes. I'm very excited. If I want to stay excited one more time, I give you permission to click off because that's annoying too. Um, so that's it. Uh, I think sometime within the next week or so, if I'm bored or something at night, I'm going to post on Instagram, like send me any questions, ask me anything, whatever you want to know about me, TTC related, non TTC related. I don't care. I kind of want to do a Q and A. I think that'd be kind of a fun, like in between me waiting for my period and starting Clomid, um, because you guys have been asking me questions on Instagram and I love it. And I also love talking to you guys and seeing where you're from and hearing about your stories and how you relate to mine and how I can relate to yours and your different experiences on medications, treatments, everything. So it's been really, really refreshing and really good to talk to you guys and I love it. So thank you to everybody and thank you for subscribing and following my journey. I'm getting kind of tired of the word journey. I don't know why. I just try to find something else following my mess. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's all I've got for you, but I'll show you my bathroom. And I know Mackenzie, you got a new camera and you still haven't used it yet. Moving stuff, blah, whatever. So we will walk in. Here is, oh, just look at that. So door. This will be painted white. Um, then to your right is the countertops. Also ignore the blue. Um, I am going to be tackling a DIY epoxy marble countertop. So we will see how that goes. But it looks pretty cute. Um, this rug I got from Home Goods. That is my store for $29. And it fits perfectly right there. Painted the cabinets all light gray. This will be like a sparkly white with the charcoal marbling and just got some other little stuff. Um, these had the old style like vanity mirrors. They open up, you put stuff in them, which those are great. That's what we had at the old house, but I was over it. So I got new light fixtures and I also got two like barn wood style mirrors from Home Goods. Obsessed with that place. When I do my home tour, literally everything you can just assume is from home goods. So, anyways, that is that. Then you come into this corner, and um, there were two like 50s mirrors that had like leaves and stuff. I just was not about it. So, we took those down, and it just tore down <laughs> the wallpaper. 
Um, so we bought from Lowe's these big wood, these, they're just one solid sheet and it looks like old barn wood. It looks like the mirrors almost like that style wood or whatever. So that'll be lining the bathtub on like both corners right here. Ooh. And then in this corner is the toilet, obviously. I made that sign. It says get naked. Clock. Little itty baby shower. And I'm talking little. Like, there's no way I could shave my legs in that shower. At some point, we're going to make it much bigger. And look how cute these hooks are. I got them from Amazon, and I'm obsessed with them. So, that is my master bathroom tour kind of not done yet looking kind of weird whatever that is it look at me making another 16 minute long video <laughs> okay um subscribe to my channel like this if this hit any kind of anything for you um, and tap on the bell if you want to get notified next time I make a video because why would you want to miss out, you know? Wow. Look at that hair. Anyways, I'll let you go. Happy Thursday or Friday when you're seeing this or whenever it is you watch it. Um, I will update you guys whenever I get on my Provera, obviously, and start my Clomid and take my sugar shot. I'm super excited about that. I did tell you I was going to make a video of all the side effects of the fertility medication I've taken so far, and I'm still going to do that. So possibly Monday. Monday will be the first like normal kind of Monday after moving and everything. So hopefully I can get that up. Love you guys. Thank you. Follow me on Instagram. Just look up Mackenzie JJ or Mackenzie Jump. You'll find me a bunch of cat pictures. And there you go. So happy evening and I'll see you next time. Bye.